abandoned cart emails are a necessity to marketing teams. However, they can be a bit tricky to set up. Check out this video for a full tutorial on how to set up abandoned cart emails using liquid for loops. What's up everyone. My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Ford marketing and welcome back to our channel. Happy new year. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. And today we're going to talk about a very common use case, abandoned card emails using liquid for loops. This will be a very fun topic. So stay till the end and get ready for some fun liquid scripts. Let's get started. Before we can jump into the setup and the liquid, there is a prerequisite to our tutorial. It is strongly recommended that you work with your engineering team to set up a custom attribute called items in cart that constantly represent the exact items that are in the user's carts and is updated in real time, whether items are added or deleted. Having this custom attribute will make it much, much easier for you to set up the abandoned cart campaign. And this tutorial will be based off of us having this custom attribute. Now, if you don't have this custom attribute set up, this video may still be useful for you because we are still going to go over the data type of the items in cart custom attribute. So later when you are ready to have this conversation with your engineering team, you can explain with confidence what you're looking for and why. And lastly, if you have at least a custom event for every time an item gets added or deleted from the cart, we could possibly make our own items in cart custom attribute using webhooks. While this may be possible, it is a technical process, which will deserve its own video in the future. For now, let's just look into what this items in cart custom attribute looks like. So if you see here, I've added an example of the custom attribute items in cart, and let's check out what's inside this data. And by the way, items in cart is an array of objects. An array is pretty much a list of data and objects is pretty much a group of data. So when you put those together, we have a list of group of data. And we have three groupings here, each representing one item that's in the cart and each groupings have additional information about each of the items. So we have ID, which is the product name image link, which will provide an image that we can use in the abandoned cart email and price. And all three data will be used inside our abandoned cart email. Array of objects is the best data structure for your items in cart custom attribute, because most likely your platform allows users to have multiple items in the cart. So the array structure is handy, but also each item will have multiple data that will need to surface in the abandoned cart email. So the object structure is also handy. And that's why we use the best of both worlds array of objects. All right. Now that we've discussed the data, let's finally jump into our email and take a look at the liquid step. And I've created a basic abandoned cart campaign from one of the braze email templates. Now this part does require a little bit of HTML knowledge, not a whole lot. I am not an HTML developer myself, but we do need to know where each item row starts and ends. And after a little bit of digging, I see that line 140 all the way to line 170 is where we're looking at. So if I go ahead and copy everything from line 140 to 170 and paste it multiple times, command C, command V, command C, command V, you will notice that I will get multiple items in our email in the exact same format and the template. And that is the behavior or result we want for each item that's in the items in cart custom attribute. So I'm going to press command Z three times to get back to where we had. And here is where liquid comes in. So we want to use a liquid for loop, which will render as many rows as the number of items in our items in cart array. And for each row that gets rendered, we will insert dynamic data, which will pull data from our items in cart array and replace these placeholder values like the Litora Nisi Pro in the 2499 and then this placeholder image. The first thing we're going to do is add this for loop syntax right before line 130 or sorry, line 140 on line 139. And it's going to be for item in custom attribute items in cart. And that's right before the HTML section that we want to be repeated multiple times. And then before we break down what this means, let's also go ahead and add the end for syntax right at the end of our repeated HTML section. 
which is line 173 for us. And then only doing this so that we don't forget to do this later. So 173 is where is the end of our section. We're going to add our N4 syntax there. No changes so far. So let's take a look at what this exactly means and break this down. So this snippet starts our for loop. The word item here is our variable. And we could have chosen any other word, like for things in custom attribute items and card, or for X in items and card. Item was simply the most intuitive variable name that I thought of because we are working with a custom attribute called items in cart. So we're looking at for each item in items in cart. Um, and of course, this snippet right here, custom attribute items in cart is the Braze custom attribute that we're working with for this for loop, the one that we saw earlier in my user profile. So this line of liquid right here simply translates to for every item in your custom attribute items in cart. And then liquid is going to render the code that's between this for loop, the starting for loop, and then our end for loop syntax. So everything from line 140 to 170, line 170, liquid is going to repeat it as many times as the number of items in our custom attribute items in cart. For us, that was three items. So if we go ahead and preview it, we should also see this being rendered three times, and that is perfect. And this could look different depending on how many items you have in your custom attribute called items in cart, but the number of items should match theoretically. And now that we got the for loop set up, we need to insert the dynamic data. We don't want to be listing Natora Nisi Proin every single time. So when the liquid is going through each item of the array, it will use the variable name that we chose and store the data under that variable. In our case, all the data will live under the variable called item, because that's the variable name we chose. And if we look back at our user profile example, each item has three children data. We have ID, IMG underscore link, and price for each of the three items. And we access it this way. To access each of that data, it looks like item, curly brackets, item.id, item.image underscore link, and then lastly, item.price. And each of these variables are going to render the data that we were that we saw in the children data. And they're not going to go here. They're going to go and replace the template data that we saw. Um, and I'm just writing it out just so that we can see it. And Liquid is simply going to go through each of the items in the custom attribute in order and display each dynamic data during each iteration or cycle. So what I will do now is simply replace the placeholder data with the dynamic data that we just talked about. So the first one to replace is this image right here. We don't want this 80 by 80 JPEG, but we are going to replace it with item.image link. So that goes right there. And then the Tora Nisi Proin will be replaced with the item name. So I'm going to get rid of that and bring that variable down here. And then lastly, item price. Let me get rid of these uh, blink lines. So item.price, the $24.99 will, will be replaced by our item.price. And now we have a completely dynamic for loop that should render a very specific row for each of the items that we have in our cart. There's only one way to find out how this looks. Let's click preview. And there it is, our beautiful abandoned cart email with each of the three items in my items and cart custom attribute with dynamic name, price, and images. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.